Hello friend, welcome to Bankwiz. Friend, in this video lecture, I am going to deal with a very important as a topic. The topic is uh, rising crude oil prices and its impact on the Indian economy. Friend, uh, the topic is important because uh, this is based on the current event. And as you know that the current uh, rise in crude oil prices uh, is because of uh, the Russia-Ukraine war that has been going on for a long time plus uh, the economic sanctions uh, that have been imposed uh, by the USA uh, on Iran. This is also another factor for the rise in the crude oil prices. But friend, uh, we will talk about uh, each and every aspect. Fr friend, uh, an essay is uh, the personal thought of a person. It may be argumentative in nature, it may be expository, it may be narrative, it may be descriptive in nature. Friend, uh, these are the types of essays. Okay. As far as the topics, uh, essay topics uh, in the competitive examinations are concerned, the first two, the argumentative and expository types uh, are asked in the examinations or examination. Okay. So let us come to know of uh, these two kinds of essays in detail. Friend, as far as uh, an argumentative essay is concerned, this argues in support of the essay topic. This argues against the essay topic given. Friend, the next uh, important uh, fact associated with uh, an argumentative essay is, is that uh, uh, it is based on the facts and data available. It is uh, it is based on the personal thought of the writer as well. So arg an argumentative essay is subjective in nature. Okay, because it, it is the representation of uh, uh, the person's uh, personal concept, a personal idea uh, as regards the essay topic given. But uh, an expository essay is a bit different from uh, an argumentative essay. In fact, uh, an expository essay is also a kind of argumentative essay, but it is totally objective. It, it uh, all, uh, always talks about uh, uh, all the things uh, uh, keeping in mind the facts and data available. So it is objective in nature. Okay. If uh, you are asked to write uh, on an essay, uh, advantages and disadvantages uh, of uh, the privatization of banks uh, then this essay topic will come under the argumentative essay category okay but uh, in an expository essay category uh, the the writer will talk about uh, uh, everything keeping in mind the data and facts available to him or her okay the uh, the essay topic that i am going to deal with uh, the topic uh, that i have already discussed uh, that uh, rising crude oil prices and its impact on the indian co uh, economy uh, will come under the expository essay type okay so friend uh, uh, hope uh, that you have already come to know of uh, uh, of uh, everything in detail as regards these two types of essays now friend the next thing that is very much important uh, uh, is uh, uh, is everything that uh, w will help you frame an effective essay which are the ingredients which are the important things uh, which you should keep in mind before you frame uh, frame an essay on any particular topic friend uh, the first important thing that you should have uh, in order to frame an effective essay is the sound knowledge friend this is the first and foremost thing that will help you frame an effective essay. The more you have knowledge about the essay topic, the better it will be. Uh, as far as uh, uh, the enhancement of uh, knowledge is concerned, then there are so many sources uh, you have. You have uh, magazines, uh, Yojana, Kuru Chitra. You have some particular channels uh, such as uh, Sansad TV. And uh, you should be a regular subscriber to a newspaper. Please read uh, everything aloud and uh, try to discuss uh, whatever you have uh, read in the in the journals okay and uh, in this way you will definitely continue enhancing your knowledge and then uh, whatever the topic uh, may come in the examination you will find yourself uh, in a very convenient position to deal with uh, the essay topic uh, okay so friend first and foremost uh, 
uh, is the knowledge that you should keep and knowledge does not occur overnight knowledge uh, is a very slow process uh, but uh, steadily if you gain knowledge then it will be far better for you and if you think when the examination will come closer then i will uh, uh, i will enhance my descriptive type knowledge then obviously you will not find yourself uh, very much convenient in the examination hall to deal with uh, the essay topic so friend please uh, ki gain knowledge on a regular basis okay now the second important thing is uh, is uh, the framing of knowledge friend uh, even if you have sound knowledge about the topic as a topic given in the examination but if you don't know the technique how to frame your knowledge into an effective essay then i don't think you will be able to fetch uh, a better score in the examination so friend uh, now the question arises how you can frame uh, your essay in an effective uh, way then friend uh, let me tell you that uh, this particular uh, thing will come about uh, after practice okay after a lot of practice uh, only 2 to 3 mocks uh, cannot serve the purpose you must have uh, a lot of mocks uh, to be attempted and uh, Uh, and uh, along with uh, the, uh, along with the mocks uh, you should uh, get your answers evaluated by some experts uh, then this will definitely be covered in a very convenient way hope that you have already uh, got it framing of knowledge means whatever the knowledge you have as regards the essay topic uh, keeping in mind uh, the time barrier and the word barrier how much you are able to frame your knowledge matters a lot okay so it is the main thing now friend the third important thing is uh, grammar friend uh, even if you have a sound knowledge and you know how to frame your knowledge into an essay but without the grammatical uses proper grammatical uses i don't think that you will be able to frame your uh, essay in an effective way it is grammar that makes a clarity in your thought it is grammar that uh, that brings about flexibility in your idea so please while dealing with an essay uh, keep in mind all the grammatical rules uh, so please have sound grammatical knowledge in order to convey your idea in a most effective manner okay now the friend the next important thing is the vocabulary friend vocabulary includes uh, technical words uh, it includes uh, uh, antonyms uh, synonyms one word substitutions idioms and phrases uh, so in order to frame an effective essay you must have a very good stock of vocabulary so friend these are uh, the important things uh, that will help you frame a very effective essay now friend uh, let us uh, deal with the essay topic uh, that we have discussed earlier friend uh, the essay topic is rising crude oil prices and its impact on the indian economy friend uh, uh, please make a very concrete strategy before you start writing uh, the essay okay it has a definite format format includes introduction and then impacts and then conclusion these are the things uh, under which uh, you have to deal with uh, this essay now friends uh, let us discuss in brief what should be there in the introductory part uh, of this essay topic and how you can deal with uh, the introductory part i have mentioned here oil is a very essential commodity which is required to fulfill domestic fuel needs it is used as a supplying source of energy to power industries it provides a fuel for vehicles and aeroplanes to carry goods and people all the world over hence any hike in its prices directly impacts any economy very deeply okay recently the hike in its prices is mainly caused by the russia ukraine war okay russia makes up for, for about 10% of global oil production friend i have used the data in the introductory part okay in addition the reduction in the production of crude oil by uh, the, uh, the reduction in the production of crude oil by iran due to the sanctions imposed by the usa is another reason for the hike or for the rise in crude oil prices okay 
so friend uh, you can make it much more effective you can make it uh, much more informative provided that you practice a lot friend uh, you must bear in mind that the introductory part of an essay and the conclusion of an essay matter a lot so please frame these two parts in a very effective manner it must be dealing with uh, the essay topic given now let us discuss uh, how you can uh, uh, frame the body of this essay i have named it as impacts okay in the impacts uh, uh, what you should mention you should mention uh, the points you had better mention your points uh, paragraph wise i have mentioned uh, the impacts uh, as it puts pressure on india's gdp which would account for 1.9% of gdp okay it will have an impact of 22 billion dollars might be directly borne by indian households which will cause public hesitation the targeted fiscal deficit as a percentage of gdp could be difficult to manage if nothing changes in terms of government expenditure okay cpi inflation has risen to an 8 month high of 6.07% at present and it will rise further to 6.30% by the end of this quarter 2022 and 23 it would pre- put pressure on the rbi to curb inflation in the country friend i have uh, mentioned the points only what you need to do is to elaborate on all these points in the examination okay these are important impacts that you should mention in the examination i i hope you have already got it and the final thing is that you need to give conclusion okay and in the conclusion what you need to do is to give the views of yours okay taking into account uh, the facts uh, and figures then your essay will be complete uh, wish you all the best thank you very much